Good evening, everyone. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of Tuesday, April the 23rd, 2024. And with average mortgage rates around the country over 7.5%, let's take a look at how these numbers are affecting our local housing market here in Florence. And the first thing I want to look at is home prices in terms of price per square foot. So we look at median list price a lot. Median list price is important. That's valuable information, but price per square foot really is the metric that tells you how much a home costs, right? And so at a 90 day average of $137 per square foot, home prices are still significantly higher than they were back in 2019 when home prices were $102 a square foot. And if we segment out the market for Florence, which is always really important, right? We see that the top 90 day, so homes that are over half a million dollars in Florence are on a 90 day average of 151 and then going down all the way down to the bottom 90 day, which is homes that are roughly under $125,000 or so, under 150 or $109 per square foot. The key thing to point out, and it's the same subject that we've been talking about for some weeks now, is properties with a price decrease. The reason why this is so important, whether you're a seller or a buyer, is because it's this metric that is going to give you the indication of how you need to be moving forward in your transaction, regardless of whatever side you're on, obviously for different reasons, depending on what side you're on. And we're going to talk about that in a second, but this is something that needs to have an eye kept on it to see what's happening. It's this data point that tells us how buyers in our market are responding to the current market conditions, i.e. mortgage rates, i.e. inventory levels. And so as you can see, since March the 1st, properties with a price decrease over the last month and a half have continued to climb and are at 42% currently in Florence. And if you look over the course of the last five years, you see that that, that number is only low or normal compared to the last two years. But anything back before, that number is pretty high. And we know we've been talking about this a lot, but this is whenever interest rates began to increase. And so what you're seeing is the response of home buyers in the marketplace due to the rising cost of money. And as you can see, even properties with a price decrease, that top portion is significantly lower than those middle two tiers. And we talked about that last week. Uh, just go back to last week's show. If you're in the uh, $200,000 to $450,000 range in purchasing, and just refer back to that, episode last week because nothing's really changed there. The one thing that I will say that that does matter in that realm is if this trend continues, then what it would indicate that we should expect to see is home prices start to decrease. And so I have been on house tours even of late where we've looked at properties that were priced much higher than I believe they're truly valued at given our current market conditions. And I'm going to be very interested to watch these properties and see what they end up selling for and how long it takes, especially in these middle two tiers of the market, which like I said, is about 200,000 to $450,000. So you're talking about almost half the properties in that price range that go on the market, the price is going to come down. So now what does that mean for you, the buyer and the seller? And the whole point of these shows what should you do with this information? If you're between two hundred and four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, then the thing to take away from the data that we're talking about this week is if you're a seller and you're motivated, if you're a motivated seller, then motivated sellers, and we talk about this frequently on this channel, need to price their home accordingly. The data is showing us that if you come into the marketplace with a listing price on your home that is too high, then you have almost a 50% chance of expecting it to sit and have to be reduced anyways. And in, in my opinion, the problem with that is now that creates a sense of desperation. Perception is 90% of reality. And now buyers feel emboldened to be even more shrewd in their negotiation strategies holistically. And so that could create an environment where you're receiving even lower offers than you normally would as a whole because your home sat on the market a long time and now there's the stigma and you've had to decrease the price one, two, maybe even three times. And so they sense blood in the water, so to speak, or desperation. Now that may or may not actually be the case, 
But like I said, perception is 90% of reality. So if you're a motivated seller and you want to get the home sold, then having an understanding coming into the marketplace and just being honest about the valuation of the home is going to help you out a lot to get that home under contract and to get it sold. Likewise, if you're a buyer, and mind you, all of this is circumstantial. You know, everything's a case by case basis. So some people need to buy today because they have to, or they need to sell today because they have to. And you don't have the luxury of being patient and waiting to see what's going to happen. But a lot of buyers are doing just that because they feel pinched and pressured by high home prices and high mortgage rates. And so buyers are feeling squeezed and unable to make purchase comfortably. So they're being very shrewd and very observant to what's going on with the market and, and really analyzing each house before pulling the trigger and submitting an offer, which is completely understandable. And so what I would say to buyers is depending on your situation, how quickly do you need to buy? How motivated are you as a buyer? I would say even in that, be patient, not necessarily in the sense of how long you're waiting to put an offer in on a house, but how long you're waiting on houses to sit before offering on them. Meaning that if something just came on the market, especially if your agent is telling you, ah, I think this is priced a little high, be patient. If that home is the home, then you may have to wait or you might want to shift your focus and look for homes that are either A, coming into the market that your agent is telling you, hey, this is priced at a sweet deal or B, have been sitting for a little while and have already had to decrease their price. And I promise you, they are not hard to find. You will find homes that have had one, two, even three decreases in our market right now, even going back to last year. So if you're in that two hundred to $450,000 range, there's not a need right now for you to pay more than you should for a house. That's just a blunt way to say it. Now, there is always one caveat that I like to say to that because I don't want somebody to miss out on a house they really wanted and and be mad at me for it. And so I would tell a client this, and I'm telling you this now, if you found the perfect home and it is the home for you, then you always need to do what you need to do to secure it. You know what you can afford. You know what you can handle. And only you truly know that. You certainly want to seek counsel from your, your agent, your lender, your financial advisor, your friends, your family, you know, anybody that is a good voice in your life to tell you good advice. But at the end of the day, you know where you can afford to be. You know what you can handle and you can't, you know what your budget is, so on and so forth. And so if you found the perfect home, I'm not encouraging you to sit for a month and see what happens because there's always somebody out there that either A, is motivated and loves it just as much, if not more, as you and is willing to pay for it regardless, or possibly is either unrepresented or has an agent that's not um, going to give them the same type of feedback and advice or have the same philosophical view of the price of that home and may be very encouraging them, encouraging to them to submit an offer on it where it's priced at right now. And you're going to go on to Realtor.com or Zillow one day and it's going to be contingent and you're going to be disappointed. Properties with a price decrease are increasing. They keep climbing. Mortgage rates have yet to consistently come down for people. And so right now the indication is in Florence for our housing market that there's a great possibility that home prices are going to start coming down. And maybe a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that is the case. On the flip side of that coin, if you're a seller, you may want to consider getting your house listed today. Like if you have an agent you're working with or you don't, all my contact information is down in the description. I'd love to give you a free home valuation and let's get an accurate price in that house and get it listed. But I'm just telling you that as medium prices are going up because of the seasonal time of the market that we're in, don't confuse that with the reality that the lack of buyer demand is increasing properties with a price decrease. And so when homes are going under contract and closing, house prices, the indication is, are very well coming down as we start to move in through the rest of the year. Now, we don't fully know what's going to happen. There's optimism from various experts and people that mortgage rates will come down over the coming 8 to 12 weeks. 
and it's a fluid situation. So we just have to see. But right now, the data is showing us this as a, a very plausible situation. So with that being said, I certainly wish y'all the best in your real estate endeavors and y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.